Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to turn this Masters of the Universe Origins action figure into my version of Slime Pit He-Man. All right, we'll get started right after this. The first thing I want to do is get this guy in the pose that I want. So I decided I just want to use his battle axe. So I'll get that in his hand and then get his pose. And I'm going to use some super glue to basically lock his joints in place so he doesn't move. He's going to be just a statue instead of an action figure when I'm done with him. So now I'm using some scissors to cut up some Thebra. Thebra is a type of thermoplastic like Warbla. So you just heat it up. And then I'm going to shape it into the slime drips. So these I will drape across the He-Man figure to make it look like the dripping slime. When these toys were originally done in the 80s, they had a slime pit by Hordak and it would drip the slime over him. And that would be your slime pit monster or your horde zombie He-Man. But it doesn't create a, you know, an actual slime pit version of He-Man after you take that slime off. So I decided I wanted to make one to have in my display of just the slime pit He-Man. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep covering him with little pieces of Thebra. Now this one here, I wanted it to cover a little more. So it was like a chunk of slime that hung on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and press it in so you can still see some of that sculpted detail underneath it. But it adds that extra layer. Now once I was done with that, I just wanted to add a little more dripping off of his face. It almost makes him look a little disfigured. You know, I want it to still look like He-Man, but it's kind of an evil, scary version of He-Man. So I'm just adjusting that, heating it up, pressing it into place until I am happy with it. Up to this point, I was just heating up the Thebra and sculpting it and pressing it onto the figure and then heating it up some more so it would bond with the figure. But I was having some issues with the smaller pieces and I wanted to have a bunch of little drips coming off of him. So what I decided to do is I would go ahead and make a bunch of small little drippings and I would glue those on with super glue gel and that way I wouldn't have to worry about distorting that sculpt that I'm creating with those little drops. So I'm just going to make a bunch of these and once those are all sculpted out I'll start gluing them into place. I have several drips sculpted out so I'm just going to put some super glue gel on my wax paper and then dip the ends of those drips in there and then press them onto my figure and let them set for a little bit. So here he is with all his drips and drops on it so I'm going to go ahead and add a coat of gesso. So this is a surface prep because the plastic or because the figure is plastic and it's not porous this gesso will help the acrylic paint adhere to the figure. Now this shouldn't get handled a lot after it's done, but I still want it to be as durable as it can be. So once I have the gesso done, I let that dry. I'm going to do a base coat of a dark green, and so I'm just going to cover him. Now this took a couple of coats at least, maybe maybe three in some areas. I kept going back to him, and I would see little spots that I missed, like underneath his hair, you know, and then I'd have to get, you know, underneath the axe or something. And so I just kept going over it till I was happy with it and he's got this nice solid dark green. So the next thing I want to do is apply some neon green on top of that dark green. I want to brighten them up. I'm not really doing a dry brush technique but I am trying to hit just more of the surface area. Probably a little more than I would if I was dry brushing. It's almost like a wet dry brush if that makes any sense at all. I'm just kind of making this up as I go. But I wanted a lot of the crevices to still stay that dark green and give this character a little more depth. I want it to look more detailed than the standard action figure, but I wasn't worried about covering up, like, you know, hiding the joints or anything because it still wants to, I still want it to fit in with my action figure display. So again, on this, I just kept going over it. I went over probably two or three coats. The neon green's a little... It's not translucent, but it's not as opaque as the dark color. So I had to go over several times before it gave me the look I wanted. Now I was really happy with the green now, so the last thing I need to do is paint his eyes. So I'm just painting some red in there. And in fact, when I first started doing it, his eyes were almost too small. Like you couldn't, you know, see the red as well. So I actually purposely, this time, <laughs> went a little bit bigger than I would have normally, just to make those red eyes stand out a little more. 
Once all my paint was completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and give him a gloss coat. I'm just using the gloss I have for my clay, but it, I've used it before over paint and it works really well. So I am putting it on really thick because I want it to look, you know, slimy. So we'll just apply that and let it dry overnight. And here is the finished Slime Pit He-Man using a Master of the Universe Origins action figure, some Thebra thermoplastic, acrylic paint, and some gloss coat. I had a lot of fun making this figure. I think it'll look really good in my Masters of the Universe Origins display in my cave. We'll bring him in a little bit closer. You can see the detail. I had, a, I mean, what was fun about him is he's, you know, not symmetrical. He's just this monster. I don't have to worry about, you know, certain details being perfect. I just kind of want to make him as messy and, you know, slimy looking as I can. And I think that, that turned out really well. And here's a comparison of my Slime Pit He-Man with the original Masters of the Universe Origins action figure. Alright, well thanks for watching and remember, never stop creating. Bye! Hey, it's me, it's Ram Man. Hey, He-Man, it looks like you forgot the question of who you're going to call. It, it's the Ghostbusters. Don't get slimed. We're, we're ready to believe you, but not Hordak. A very special thanks to my friend Jesse for providing the voice of Ram Man. Be sure to check out the description box below to links to Make It Turning a Great Again and Jesse's TikTok. Also, if you enjoy Masters of the Universe Origins, be sure to check out this incredible stop motion animation. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to my channel.